your big day has arrived. In this video, we're going to give you a glimpse of what a typical patient experiences at the surgery center on their surgery day. You will be well prepped for today, and although it's normal to feel nervous, you will most likely be ready with a good sense for what will happen at the surgery center and during your recovery. Prior to surgery, you will work closely with your support team at Dr. Bonasisi's office, who will make all of the arrangements related to preparing for your surgery and your recovery. You'll be provided with detailed pre- and post-operative instructions and be in contact with us on a regular basis, on the phone or in person, to have all of your questions answered. At this stage, we will also ensure that all of your follow-up appointments with Dr. Bonasisi are scheduled. Your pre- and post-operative instructions play a big role in your recovery. Patients who read them diligently and spend time reviewing the information on our website feel the most prepared and relaxed. So how are you feeling today? In addition to being a little nervous and excited, you're probably hungry and thirsty because as part of your fasting instructions, you haven't had anything by mouth since midnight last night. Don't worry, your procedure will begin soon and you'll be able to head home in a few hours. Your day begins with arrival and intake. You may be asked to complete some forms and you'll meet the team of medical experts who are here to take care of you. These trained medical experts are already familiar with your surgical case. The medical director has already reviewed your forms, health history, and the tests that you are asked to have before surgery to ensure that you can safely have this procedure. At this stage, you'll be given a locker and some surgical greens to change into. Remember that you've been provided with instructions to wear a button-up shirt or something similar that doesn't need to be pulled over your head. This will make it much easier to change into your clothes when it's time to go home. Also, please keep in mind that the locker that you will receive is small. It's best to keep your personal items to a minimum and please don't bring anything valuable. Please leave your jewelry at home. Dr. Benassisi will come and say hello and answer any final questions you may have about your surgery. You will have had plenty of opportunity to ask questions prior to today, so this visit is for him to help calm your nerves and review your surgical plan. He may do some markings on your skin and pass along any information that he thinks is important for your caregiver. The next step is your pre-surgery checklist and check up with the nurse. There will be several nurses taking care of you. The nurse that is managing your case will complete a final checklist including taking your temperature and blood pressure and giving you some medications. It's time to go into the operating room. Your caretaker will head to the waiting room while your procedure takes place or they have the option to spend a couple of hours exploring the local area. You will be taken into the operating room and your procedure will begin. When your surgery is complete, you'll be taken into the recovery area where a recovery nurse is assigned to your care. You will stay there for approximately half the time that your procedure took. Your recovery nurse will ensure that you are comfortable, let you have some rest, and ensure that you are feeling up to going home. So how will you be feeling? You will have a large dressing applied to your face and will be asked to remain in a slightly upright position. Most patients recover from the IV sedation very quickly and are able to speak normally, sit up, have sips of water without trouble, and chat with Dr. Bonasisi. The nurse will review your home care instructions with you. It's time to go home. Although you'll feel able to walk on your own, for safety reasons you'll be taken out to your car in a wheelchair. Your pre- and post-operative instructions that were provided by Dr. Bonasisi's support team have all the information you need related to your recovery including information about the typical symptoms you should expect after your surgery and the warning signs to watch for in terms of complications. Medical complications after surgery are extremely rare. However, you and your caretaker will have the information you need to identify a problem if there is one so that you can call Dr. Bonasisi's office. Please refer to your pre- and post-operative instructions. 